Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet. It's been a long time since I uploaded any video on this channel. Three years to be exact. And to be completely honest, my absence was mainly due to prioritizing my work and taking out time for my family. As a solo creator who handles everything from research and recording to editing and publishing, every video is a very time-consuming journey and demands many hours of dedicated effort. And I was just not able to get that time. But now I'm very happy to be finally back and I'll be posting regular tech content on this channel. So if you're someone who is new to this channel and enjoy tech content, make sure you subscribe. And to all my longtime subscriber, thank you for your continued support and you kept this channel alive during my absence. So I'm really thankful. So let's start the first video of Rebooted XPS Tech with the review of Deep in Linux 25, which was launched recently on 26th of June. For those who are new to this distro, DeepIn is a user-friendly Linux distro from China. It sports a beautiful modern looking desktop and is best suited for someone who is just starting into the world of Linux. It's one of my favorite Linux distro. The key standout feature of this distro has been its aesthetic and visually appealing desktop environment called DeepIn Desktop Environment. But over the years, it has evolved into a leading Linux distro, incorporating advanced and cutting-edge technologies. And this is exactly what you see in the latest release as well. This is a significant update to DeepIn system, featuring the new 7th version of DeepIn desktop environment with a revamped dock control center, along with powerful integration of AI into the system, which is why I'm calling this a giant leap for Linux distro. So let's start the review with installation. Now the installation image size is close to 6 gigs, huge for a Linux distro, but I guess that's the price you pay for more features. The installation process is a quick three-step process. First is language selection. Second screen is the disk partition screen. Now this is where you need to pay little attention. The disk wizard is pretty advanced and provides every possible installation configuration out there. At the top, there are two options, install from ISO and by UImage. The second option is new here and is to be selected when you already have a backup image and you want to restore the system. For fresh install, select the ISO option. Under this, you have three different modes or arrangement of disk to choose from. In full disk mode, the entire disk is formatted and further gets partitioned into deep in recommended sizes. However, the minimum disk size you require for full disk option is 64 gigs. Next is custom. Here you select a single partition rather than the entire disk. And the advantage here is the other partitions in the disk will remain untouched. And this is the option you should select if you are having a dual boot setup along with Windows or any other operating system. The last option is advanced and no surprises here. It's designed for experienced users. You can tweak fine tune partition sizes or make use of existing partitions. I'm going to go with custom option and give it a partition. Now it auto created four partition out of it as per the deep in required sizes. The default size for root partition is 23 gigs. That's an increase from 15 gigs required by deep in 23. Now four gigs for boot, 16 for swap and rest of the storage for data partition. Now click next. So we have completed two processes. And the last one you get after system reboots, which is this user account screen. Let's quickly create a user account here. Then you get few other options like selection of time zone, keyboard language. I'm going to change the time zone and click next. And that's all. That's the complete deep in 25 installation process. Now on first boot, you are presented with welcome screen showcasing the latest feature of the distro. All right, so this is DDE version seven, fresh new desktop of deep in 25. Let's have a quick tour of visual changes. The dock is redesigned. The launcher menu remains the same, but there's subtle change in the design of icons, specifically focusing on the edges of the icons. Here's how the deep in 25 icons looks like in comparison to the deep in 23 icons. Now coming to the right corner of the dock, it's the usual date and time, quick actions menu, and plugin area. You can customize this plugin area from control center. Here's the complete list of plugins that are available. Moving to the left side, now this is the new AI bar and you can access the power of AI from here. The two icons that you see here, first is the UOS AI, which is the DeepIn's native AI app. And the next is Grand Search icon. There's a lot to talk about these apps and we'll take a closer look into DeepIn AI implementation in a minute, but first, Let's go through the other visual changes in the desktop. The file manager also gets a new shortcut for opening a new window tab. 
which is this plus icon at the top. And the search now supports search as you type and highlighting of keyword in the search results. Alright, next the control center also gets a total overhaul. It now has a sidebar on the left side that shows all the categories of settings neatly organized and a display area on the right side that shows the settings under that respective category. At the top, the navigation used to get to that setting is also displayed. So that was all the major visual changes to the desktop of DeepIn25. The next new feature is the support for multi-finger trackpad gestures. This is similar to multi-touch feature on macOS and precision touchpad gestures on Windows. This feature enhances your productivity by allowing for much faster interaction with the desktop. Let us have a quick demo. Swipe three fingers up to expand the window to full screen and three fingers down to bring it back to the original size. Three finger swipe to the left or right side will snap the window to the respective side. Coming to the four finger gestures, a four finger swipe up will bring the multitasking view. Down will take you back. Four finger swipe to the left or right will allow you to move between virtual desktops. And then you have multi finger tap actions. Three finger tap will open the grand search and four finger tap will bring up the launcher. All right, now let's get straight to the biggest new feature of this release, which is the AI integration. Now AI is the future and deep in 25 not only gives you access to leading AI technologies, but also integrates them seamlessly ensuring they're available whenever and wherever you need them. The AI app UOS AI provides access to the modern popular AI model right at the desktop. The default AI model that you get is the trial account of DeepSeek AI, but you have option to integrate or link other popular AI models as well, including the popular chat GPT. Once it's set up, you can perform virtually all the AI tasks you typically do using their app or website. Apart from AI models, there is Deep In System Assistant, which is like AI for Deep In System and you can use to ask query regarding Deep In OS. For example, we can search for queries like Treeland Display Manager of Deep In is based on which Display Manager technology and the answer that you get is Wayland. Now the third AI option is pretty interesting. It is called Personal Knowledge. Now this I think has tremendous utility. Here you can give your personal files, which can be in various formats like text, PDF, Excel file, Word document, and prepare your own personal AI. You can then run queries and ask information, which I think will be really helpful for various purposes. All right, now let's talk about how Deepin has integrated the capabilities of AI into the system. Now Deepin allows quick interaction with AI in three different ways based on your requirement. First is AI Writer. The shortcut to launch is space and function key, which brings up the AI Writer prompt, which you can use to do all sorts of writing, research work, and you can even generate tweets. The second is AI Follow Along. Now this gets activated whenever you select a text. AI Follow Along bar pops up right below the text and gives you option to search, explain the text, get summary or translate. Pretty convenient. The third is AI built into Grand Search. Now you can write sentences like open the Word document that I was working on yesterday and get the desired result. But this function requires local LLM model to be installed first. And last convenient feature is the drag and drop to the AI bar. Instead of opening the UOS AI and uploading a document and then writing a prompt, you can simply drag the file to the AI bar. A pop-up menu will appear showing you quick options like summarize, translate, check for misspelling or add to knowledge base. So looking at all the system level interaction capabilities, I think a lot of thought has gone into the implementation of AI and the developers has done a tremendous job. Deep in team has also included a technical preview of its new Treeland Display Manager, which is currently under development. You can experience the future Display Manager by going to System Update and Technology Preview and choosing DDM slash Treeland. Once you restart, you get a completely redesigned login screen and also the app closing and opening animations are different and the entire desktop feels a lot smoother and faster. Deep in claims there's 40% improvement in the animation smoothness. It definitely feels more responsive and fluid. Apart from these visual changes, there are under the hood improvements to the system, focusing on system stability. Now this is the complete list of changes 
introduced with DeepIn 25. All right, finally, let's look at the app ecosystem in DeepIn. Now, it comes with its own suite of essential applications. And in total, there are 32 desktop apps that are pre-installed by default. So the system is ready to use straight out of the box. A major highlight in this update is the introduction of the new Lineapps Package Manager, which is DeepIn's answer to the long-standing challenge of app compatibility among Linux distros. As of now, the DeepIn store features over 90 plus Lineapps and more than 2000 apps are currently under development in this initiative. It's a promising start and let's hope this time we finally have a truly universal app packaging solution which allows cross-platform compatibility. Now in terms of performance, DeepIn requires a computer with modern hardware specification. These are the minimum and recommended system configuration. This is the performance chart of DeepIn 25 straight after starting the distro. The CPU usage is below 2% and the RAM usage is 1.8 gigs, which is right at par with Ubuntu and other modern Linux distros. All right, so that was all about the new Deep in 25. I'm really impressed with the direction this distro is taking. Now, it's not just about the glamour and good looks. With features like multi-finger gestures and the integration of AI, Deep in team is making serious efforts in giving the best of modern technology to Linux users. So if you're looking for a modern Linux distro that has the looks as well as the power, I highly recommend you give this distro a try. Alright, so that was all. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, do type that in in the comment box. It's really special to be back on YouTube and I'm super excited to make more tech related content. So make sure you subscribe and special thanks to all my subscribers for supporting me. Alright, so thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.